Hello guys, welcome, welcome to ETS2. So we're on the beta for 1.7 point, 1.4.7, excuse me. Now you drive safe, okay? Let me go ahead and I'm going to tell you right now that's going to be too loud. I'm going to kind of explain to you a few things to what they, what comes with the new version of um, ETS2 for the 1.4.7 update that will be coming out. So first thing is, it's just uh, they really worked on the uh, on the uh, performance of the game, and they also worked on uh, new environment yeah. sounds. ETS2 got two new trailers. They got a cattle trailer and a fuel trailer, which is something that they didn't have before. So they got two new trailers. Let me see how many miles we got. Won't be too bad. We gotta get on the ferry for that. No, okay. Good. So that was one of the one of the biggest things for the update was they were working on uh they're working on performance. Trying to get the performance better for both games. Um, this is the one what the new cattle trailer that come out. We did not have an owner, an owner cattle trailer in ETS 2. We had one in ATS. We did not have one. And I, I can tell you, I, can, I just said the difference in the performance already with it. Hitting a pole. Oh. Swing it out wide. You ready to turn right? Right now, I mean, I can tell by frame rate right now that right. it's uh, now. Keep in mind, I'm not running a lot of mods in ETS. I don't really learn a lot of mods over here. So mods will affect your performance in the game. That, that's going to be always going to be something that you have to look at is mods. But right now I'm running around about 210 and, and uh, around 210, 220. Frame rate right now. Go straight on. That's right. We're still using the Volvo. Well, get ready to turn left. I love these roundabouts. Exit now. I will show you both the trailers um, that you get for the update. Go straight on. That's right. Um, I can automatically tell the difference in performance uh, 
Hopefully better graphics too, though, a little bit of a, more of a graphics update too. Make the graphics look a little bit better. I have seen some little bit, uh, better graphics in the game too, in, the, in this update. Go ahead and see if I can get a thumbnail real quick. I think that'll be good. Collision, man. Eh? Kind of being quiet right now, let you hear the sounds of the the engine sound updates and the war environment updates and stuff that they done for 1.4.7. Okay, now why did it tell us to turn there then? Oh, it didn't tell us to turn there. Not bad. At the roundabout, take the first exit. Exit now. Back on the road now. But most definitely can tell uh, a huge difference in the game. I can tell a difference in graphics. I can tell a difference in performance. Um, now, granted, like I said, I'm not using too many mods. I don't know how I even run. I even use a lot of mods, but not a lot of mods right now. We got 189 miles to go.
just kind of being quiet right now. Let y'all listen to the sound and stuff. I don't want to really ruin the. Okay, I have one little lag, but I'm going to go ahead and uh, real quick jump over to the trailer store and show you the trailer as it come with this update. So we don't forget about it. So, the first one that you get, you're going to get a gas tanker. Which is this one right here. This is one of the new one that come. This update. This is one of the new ones. We haven't used this one yet. You see it come with two uh, actual options. Multiple colors. Capitalization options are kind of limited like they are with any SGS trailer, but that's okay. Your lighting. Right here's your hosing for your hose. Chrome box there, so. I'm not sure what those are. It may be padding. I'm not sure about that. So it has, uh, you can put your uh, chrome box back here. If you want one like you right there. So, yeah. So you get the fuel the gas tanker, and then you get the livestock trailer. Now, you're going to have two different versions of, of this trailer. You do have a single, but you have your painted version like this. That's your, uh, that's your uh, livestock steel. So you have four versions, but they're they're pretty much the same. Options for this is going to be pretty much the same. I mean, you can change your paint like I had mine painted blue. You can change this into like a chrome like that. Put the back like this, chrome. That would actually look good like the other chrome. I didn't even think about that. Hmm. I should have done that the one that we have. Your tire options. This is this go over your tire like this. So that is all your options for the two new trucks you get from SCS. Okay, bus. We have to have 160 miles to go. Get around this bus. But that one little lag spike too could have been a mod or anything that may be causing it. Rain moving out.
Oh, that's, <laughs> what is that? Is that train over there? <laughs> uh, okay. What a horn. <laughs> I wonder what that was. It's not like an animal. Like, okay. It's that train. Yeah, well, uh, it looks a lot better. The graphics look a lot better. Has a lot better performance in, uh, now. Now I have not switched over to the beta on a Mac truck simulator yet because I am I do have some modded trucks, except that I'm running over there, so and, I, and they won't work on the beta. So have not switched over over there yet. That way, it was funny. It sounded like an animal to me. Like, uh... Keep right, and then exit right. Also, guys, I want to put it out to anyone that plays um, 5M <clears throat> or uh, any kind of 5M or uh, a role play server. OCRP is opening their servers tomorrow on the 20th of March. They will only have it open to the 22nd. Anyone that wants to apply, I'm going to definitely going to apply myself. I'm, I'm very hoping that I get in too. We're at 90 miles left. Like right now, um, performance wise, we're running about 200, 220, 230 frames per second right now. And we wasn't getting near that before. I think that's the first time that horn has uh, done that to me. I, can, I forget about that they're different on the, on here than they are on, on ATS. And I, every time I hear it, I think it's an animal or something. Holler. No. Uh, okay.
Paid $105. kind of being quiet right now yeah I'm, I'm enjoying what I'm seeing right here for 1.4.7 a lot better performance here the graphics are looking a lot better certainly do it. And we still took the wrong exit. We you back? Exit now. bringing pigs here but that's what we're doing they ordered 
a truckload of live pigs. We would like it better if they moved around and that. So we drove extra, drove 258 miles, it took us 6 hours and 50 minutes to get here. We consumed 33.6 gallons of fuel. That is one thing different that they have done with the uh, 1.4.7 update. You can see the, your achievement bar is a lot bigger now than what it was. Alright guys, I just want to get ahead and show off some of the new updates for the uh, 1.4.7 beta. Uh, for the 1.4.7 version of ETS 2. Uh, the only thing that's going to be different for ETS is uh, we, are, we, ha we already have a um, livestock trailer. I own and a livestock trailer. We already had one. So we will be getting the fuel tanker trailer. Uh, that will be coming. Um, but yeah. Want to get ahead and show it, show everything off for the update. Now, as far as the performance goes, um, I can really see the difference. I'm running about 2:30 in frames right now, so I, I can really see the difference in frame and frame rate and graphics are looking a lot better than what they did. So it's still a bit of work in progress, I think, but I think they're on the right track on, on fixing the game like it should be fixed. So thank you if everyone been watching the channel, everyone been subscribing to the channel. Means a lot. Have channel grow. We'll see you in the next video.